it's not. We'll tell you later. You tell me later. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? It's not. It's not because you joined Ken. I was just. I didn't no, want it no, recorded. No, no. That's cool. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> now i can actually see you guys the last time it was like frozen and i could hear you oh really yeah. that whole yeah. time now, you couldn't see us well it's you're probably frozen entirely right now. my fault oh wait what but adam was just frozen yeah adam's frozen ish okay we'll see i fixed my internet like telling a story and like one of you guys like your face stuck there like <laughs> and, like <laughs> uh, uh yeah i uh the shit that was wrong my internet, like, because I, I just moved, and I didn't notice, but the internet guy swapped out my modem. He, like, just swapped it for no reason, mm -hmm. which was fine, but then it turns out there's four ports on the back, and only one of them technically work. It's like, what the... F <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Do you remember? But, yeah. We used what to live in a ones? time where all the ports used to work, but now, you know. Why don't the ports work? It's weird. It's like I tried each one and I got flaky like service, but then one worked. And the one that, that one that worked is like mapped a little bit differently. Modems and internet are fucking bullshit, to be honest with you. Like I, I like go talk to the uh, like Verizon, right? And mm -hmm. I'm like, the, that, that was like who did my shit. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I had problems with the other company. I'm like, can you guarantee that this will be fast right and they're like they're like yeah right so then it's slow so i call them up i'm like what the fuck <laughs> and they were like oh well you know it doesn't count for for wi-fi connections <laughs> <laughs> and then like i'm like okay but i'm like it's like like one of them's hardwired and it's still fucking slow and they're like oh well blah, 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 we'll schedule something some guy to come take a look at it um, long story short, I got so pissed off that I ended up getting business internet. Mm. Oh, really? Like, I literally have business internet in my house right now, <laughs> and it still fucking sucks. But it's like, it's like, uh, if it's gonna suck, I'll get I can like get like a statement credit or something. So like, I feel like oh, there's incentive on them to make it not suck, right? They have like an uptime fucking incentive. Yeah. I did that. You got at SLAs one point. on your on your home internet. <laughs> But it's That's also nice. a pain in the ass because like I can't like I have it bundled so I can't use like the FiOS TV app. I have to use like the Verizon uh -oh. business app and that doesn't like, uh -oh. like my dog like chewed my controller. So like, Same. I have I'm, no remotes. Oh. I've got no remotes at all. I have to but, do like, everything that digital my remote phone. doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, like, it doesn't. Okay, remote, that sucks. No, the app yeah. remote doesn't work with the business internet. What a time to be yeah. alive. It's it's wild because these these companies run the internet like the most one of the most important things in the world. And I was going to their site yesterday to like change my plan. And I kid you not, it's like every page is like a minute of spinners and bouncing between like random ass subdomains. And I'm like, how does this company run like K internet to like every single house in America, but then like <laughs> this bullshit, they should use RSCs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're, they're, they're using JSP is what they're using. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, this is so slow. Like, it, I just, it's painful and I can't it believe it's painfully bad. This is the same company. I feel like a lot of that is like back end refusing to cooperate. Right? Mm -hmm. like, the, like, the front end guys are like, hey, let me, uh, you know, let me get what I need to build this website. You're like, here's a general purpose API. Fucking run a proxy through it and <laughs> take out what you need. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah. okay, thanks. It's like you can see the whole history of all their technical debt through like all the redirects. It like starts to load one front end, then realizes like you're in a specific part of the thing, then like flips to a different front end, and then like that has a spinner, and then like hits some other back end that sends you back. It's fucking insane. Have you guys ever worked on shit like that? It, yeah, like like Whoa. once. Yeah, what? Like, what's the classification here? Of like large old shit yeah old shit uh yeah not like a website but i've worked on some old stuff in finance i've worked on some large old shit way back in the day yeah and everything was like still java and shit and it was like it was devastating yeah yeah i've got uh, we had all kinds of weird stuff it was like uh the original engineer created his own kind of like serialization uh, 
approach and it was like nice. instead of json it was just like pipe delimited values <laughs> in a big string i can't remember what they were called there was a name for them and they were just like the bane of everyone's existence because there'd be these weird <laughs> situations where something didn't serialize well it's because of this stupid format that was supposed to be like wasn't really terse literally like fast wasn't prime like wasn't there some joke about this exact concept like some guy invented something but like you actually lived it there was something oh, i hadn't heard the prime around. joke I, I mean, remember. I get like JSON has its downsides, but like trying to work with somebody's proprietary, I don't know, mangled up string. JSON is pretty fucking awesome, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, the stuff Tell we work more. on, it doesn't matter. I, I guess like if you're like doing high frequency trading or something, then. I can't comment on so that. Much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it works and it's readable. I have no complaints, really. And it, it, it's, uh, I know it's like technically a performance thing, but like that shit is still so fast now because everything, every parser is like crazy optimized for it in every language. Um, yeah, yeah, there's so like, I really know why. there's like fast for like normal people. Like if you work at the level that I work at, which is like websites and like stuff that users use, then like what is fast? But if you're, I guess if you're doing like systems level stuff, then you're like, man, JSON parsing is so slow. And that's, I, I mean, guess, JSON parsing lives. is fucking slow, generally speaking, right? Like, I had, like, some JSON stringify in a hot path that was getting, like, way too big of a JSON object, and it was, like, noticeably slow, even for websites. Mm. So I could see, like, I was looking into, like, DevOps shit, and I'm looking into, like, these, like, logging shit, like, aggregation and, like, sorting in real time and shit like that, and I'm like, you know, I, I get why they need that kind of speed or special formats for that kind of thing. Like if you're going to like have like real time analytics or something, you're searching on it. Like, like how the fuck do you search like millions of records that fast? I saw you tweeting about not with, not with Jason DevOps <laughs> a call to some DevOps nerds to help you. And yeah. then we got on a call and me and Dax are kind of DevOps nerds. Are I you guys DevOps of, nerds? I hate, the, I hate the word DevOps. I don't know. I don't think Ken knows what I do. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, uh, I literally figure out how to deploy all these shitty ass front end frameworks. That's basically what yeah, I you do. You like write the code to do that though, right? Yeah, but That's I like guess your, a lot of your thing. I mean, like you're building a I platform. Guess my, well, it's more like I figure out given what infrastructure we have, AWS, Cloudflare, et cetera, how do we like use them effectively? to do various things for people that don't know about those things. Was the, but I, I'm not traditionally a DevOps person. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny because like, you know, like I can, I can like make fun of that, but like front end has the exact same shit. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I feel like whatever happened in DevOps is like the exact same thing that happened in front end. Where everybody just dorked out a little too hard, and now there's like all these like fucking bespoke, bullshitty, <laughs> crazily named things. Yeah, just like a million layers between everything. Is that just what always happens in every industry? I feel like everything that I worked in started off simple and now just has like a hundred steps in between. I was thinking about this morning how I don't actually understand like bundlers. Like I know that Astro uses Vite and roll up and i don't know which one oh, does oh, that, what. That, that, that's a great one that's actually a great example like i have astro, no idea what each of them does astro is a framework but they don't they're built on top of vite which is kind of another framework it doesn't actually do any of the bundling it uses es build but only in dev but then when you're in pr production then it uses roll up oh my god i hate it so much yeah and now like, they're trying to replace on? both of those with a new thing called roll down it's just like oh, i saw that it's, yeah so do you know, what, do you know like what they actually it? do what in terms of what? Oh, it's fucking gross. What bundlers do? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, kind of. Like, I know they end up, like, taking all my stuff and putting it on the website, like, turning you know, it into. Do you know what an iffy is? Or a what? Yeah, immediately it, executing function or whatever. Immediately. Oh, like, where it's wrapped in parens and then you, like, execute yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, so that's what a bundler does. <laughs> it, builds, it builds up, like a, like, a dependency graph, right? And then it'll go and kind of, like, resolve that into. Like like the the webpack output is just a bunch of iffies with like dep injection. If you ever roll your own dep injection, like if you have to do some weird ass like eval bullshit, you're like, oh okay, that's what's going on here. <laughs> I'm sure Dax yeah, has done if, stuff like that. You seem if smart, you Dax. look at 
if you look yeah because we we use es build like a ton which is es build is amazing i love it i think a lot of the work that we do would not be possible if not for es build and how fast it is uh but if you look at the output of it which we do a lot because of debugging uh it's really crazy some of the stuff it does there's like so many little micro optimizations you can do when you're like when you have 100 files and you pack them into a single file um, but a lot of times those optimizations don't work so if in your 100 files you're importing the same module it, it should be smart enough to like lift that up to the top and like import it once and then like you know uh everything can reference that variable but sometimes it can't figure that out because javascript is weird and you end up with like Let's say you're importing AWS SDK, you get like <laughs> AWS SDK one, AWS SDK two, AWS SDK mm-hmm. three, and there'll be like nine definitions of the same variable. It's uh yeah, it's I, wild. But I it does do some cool optimizations. I literally had this issue yesterday, Dax, where I had two different uh, SDK like V three packages. So it was oh, like yeah. translate and bedrock or something. And they were different versions that relied on a oh, different yeah. sub package, like a little util package. And there was a different version, so then at runtime it was trying to use two different. Ver- it it blew up. It was just so annoying to like have to Google that stuff and figure out what, what's going on. Do you guys yeah. think tree shaking will ever work? We rely on a lot. Like we we bundle our stuff in a way that's meant to be tree shaken, but it takes a lot of effort from us to not accidentally introduce something that that stops it. But we use ES Build, which isn't like the best tree shaker in the world. So I assume that. When people are using roll up and stuff, it's get maybe better. Shaken farther. Oh, it can always get shaken farther. Yeah. <laughs> further. <laughs> like the coconut trees in Dax's backyard. <laughs> you have coconut trees? Yeah, no, have, I don't actually, coconut coconut but I want them. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. A... You, you moved. Do you still have, you, do you not have mangoes anymore? So I moved next door. So, so I moved mangoes, one house over. No, so we don't have any <laughs> fruit trees or anything in this new house, but we're going to plant some. Um, and I think the first thing we're going to plant is a mango tree. So I'm like, and they I'm take like, like deeply interested years. in this. Um, <laughs> Did you hit a certain age and you just fucking love trees? It's just what happens. <laughs> Specifically fruit trees. Yeah. So have, have you looked at fastgrowingtrees.com? Yes, I've ordered thousands of dollars worth of trees from fastgrowingtrees.com. And how did it go? Uh, you know, most of them are doing okay. Cherry trees, for some reason, the deer just love cherry trees in the Ozarks, and they've like humped both so? of them to death. Yeah, they just literally stomp them <laughs> into the ground. Have Ken, I don't know. Have Ken stay with why. you for a week? <laughs> yeah, hey, cherry tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, I've got three apple trees that are all doing pretty good. We got an apple last year, first apple. First they, year? they grow pretty fast. Uh, no, it was the second year we've had them. Second so. year, you got one apple. Yeah, out of okay. three trees. What zone are you in? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. I, I knew at the time. I think six. I knew when I was ordering them because it has the charts. Six yeah, or seven. I think like I'm that. in seven, and I've been looking at like what like like New Jersey is is incredibly fertile in many ways, but <laughs> like, <laughs> and, but as far as the <laughs> the lean yeah, into the yeah. mic. <laughs> <laughs> as far as like temperature is concerned, right? Like you're like I can't get like I can't have like fucking bananas, right? Yeah. So uh, I think peaches. Do you really well here? I've got a couple of Alberto yeah. peach trees. As well as apples. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to take the tree pill. And uh, I have this whole section of my backyard. I don't have any trees in my backyard. Yeah. Oh, really? It's like an acre with no fucking trees at all. <laughs> can, can everyone just, like, see into your yard? Like, how does that work? No, it's surrounded by trees. Oh, I see. But, like, the actual yard itself, there's no trees. Huh. At all. You've got all kinds of room to plant all the fruit trees. And they all have yeah. to have, like, a buddy that, like, helps to pollinate them and all that like th- there's yeah. all these different rules yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, i was gonna put complex. i was gonna put those in the ba- in the back corner yeah just some fruit trees i got so the, what led me to that right is um i got scared about ai and started farm shopping mm. <laughs> so i start i started looking right <laughs> so, so, so i start looking and fucking like you know i'm looking at some of these farms i'm like ah okay yeah you know that's that's okay ah that's a little out of the way and then i found this one and it was a fucking apple orchard it was an oh, apple shit. orchard for a million dollars, right? Wow. And I was like, I could like have like my wife start the business, like get like some like women in farming grants from the government. <laughs> fucking, awesome. you know, some kind of shit like that, right? <laughs> and um 
you know, it, it was like it was like this huge thing of all these like app rows and rows of apples, a fucking orchard, right? And it had like a building with like processing and shit. Like you're in there and you see like <laughs> like the boxes with the cheesy clip art apples on it and shit. And I'm like, oh shit. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know the first fucking thing about fruit trees at all. <laughs> I was like, so, you know, it would be like a really good way for me to like buy an apple orchard and drive it directly into the fucking ground. <laughs> I, was like, so, I was like, so, you know what, maybe like, maybe we can just like dip our toes in. Yeah, a like, few I'll, trees. Like, yeah. Two trees yeah. in the yard. See how it goes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Gail slowly. Yeah, that's a, it's crazy because so Liz's parents, uh, so they have a backyard. Backyards in Miami aren't, aren't huge. It's like a, you know, big city. Uh, and they have a pool in it. And it's mostly like tiled over in the backyard, but right around the edges, they have like every fruit tree possible and mm. they all work out amazingly every year. Like mangoes, papayas, oranges, <sighs> guavas, like just everything. It's unbelievable. And like, it just works. Like they just put it there and it just works. So I feel like maybe it's a climate or the type of trees, whatever they do so well here. You just don't really have to try super yeah. hard. I mean, do you South ever find Florida. yourself with too many mangoes? Yeah, it's a huge problem. Mango season is about to start. Ready? So huge problem. You go from like everyone has a mango tree in your back in their backyard, and they produce like one to two hundred mangoes in the span of a month. It's a lot of fucking so, mangoes. It's yeah, a lot of mangoes. and everyone is like trying to like everyone likes like bringing them over to someone else's house, and they're like, "We have too many mangoes," and like you try to bring them to like the ice cream store so they can make mango ice cream. And then and literally last year there were literally signs on stores being like not accepting mangoes uh it just becomes a whole huge problem yeah what uh, liz's dad does is he makes marmalade out of it uh it's just a, just like a giant yeah no, no, of secondary products make a lot of sense yeah and that and that, that can keep for a while so can yeah, you make it, wine out of it mango wine i don't i don't know you I can guess juice you a can. mango right yeah yeah i've made mango wine in stardew valley before <laughs> <laughs> That shit sells for a lot. I know that. Yeah, it really does. In Stardew Valley. <laughs> do you do like the mango, like on a stick with the with the chili dust on yeah, it? Yeah, oh yeah, the, the Mexican. That's Mexican. That style, shit right? is so fucking good, dude. I, yeah. I forget where I was, but somewhere like, like on like the back of like a moving truck, and this dude's like, like hacking into it with a machete, and it looks like a flower. Oh, flower! Yeah, that's amazing. It was awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah, so man it's kind of sucks that I love mangoes and I eat them all year round, but you just get way too many for a month. Um, Can you cut them into chunks and freeze them? Yeah, people do that. Yeah, people do that. But like I said, there's so many trees here, you can literally walk around and just grab them off of. Do people like, do pe that? Yeah, it's totally, it's totally normal because there's just way too many. Uh, the neighborhood I live in, it's... And you guys will see when you when you come visit, it's like crazy dense with trees like you can't see the houses like there's trees all around the street and it's like a big canopy it's like a little jungle uh and a lot of them are fruit trees and they just like drop fruit on the ground all year round now is there rotten um, fruit everywhere not really uh animals get to it there's a lot of cats i don't know if the cats eat the fruit but i don't know it's not a problem but yeah you can just grab stuff off a tree and you can eat it on your walk yeah, so, so i'm curious right Great. like like if you introduce that much mango into your diet do people have health problems from <laughs> from that much mango well mangoes are the only thing in nature that has both fat and sugar it's like a fucking they dessert like a hu human mate mangoes are really fatty yeah not Dude, like, not, not really? like fat not like like calories like people are like, oh i got all fucking mango fat last season <laughs> like um like there's there's some fruit that like you're not like if you eat like six of them or something it's like a big problem no mangoes are yeah so i used to have that uh thing that tracks your blood sugar mm -hmm. i like that patch thing i wore it for like two months just to see uh so i would like eat things and then look to see what it was because it was real time i had ice cream candy all kinds of stuff nothing spiked my blood sugar like a mango like really nothing really yeah. It tapers off pretty quickly, uh, but the highest I've ever gotten was after eating eating a mango. So, so there's a reason why it's so delicious. They're huh. super good. You know what? Yeah. I'll never forgive the United States government for fucking taking away mango jewel pods. That was like... <laughs> Wait, specifically mango? Specifically. Oh, I don't know. I, I, so, like, I guess the lineup was, it was like tobacco... Um, and then they had like, they had this one that was like raspberry and that shit sucked. Mm -hmm. And then there was like two different menthols and they got rid of the better one. 
<laughs> they got rid of mint and they left menthol. Mint was better. <laughs> and I feel like there was like one or two other. You know what? I, 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 that's that's a sidebar. But um, mango was like the premier one. Mango was the shit. Uh, if you had mango white claws and a mango jewel pod, and you were in a hot tub five years ago, <laughs> you were living the fucking dream. It was unreal. <laughs> so I came to find out that we had like our mango lineup. It was like it was like the white claw flavors, like the seasons, right? So we yeah. had like our, our our lineup, right? And then um, I w- I was over in England. Um, and you go there, and they had completely different flavors. Oh really? Yeah, like the flavors were, that we don't have here. Yeah, at all? yeah, yeah. I forget what it was. It was like fucking like kiwi or lychee or some shit. But they had like oh. a totally different flavor set. And um, what was whack is that like by law, they were lower nicotine. Mm. Oh, interesting. So they picked it up, but it was kind of weak sauce. Mm. Mango, mango jewel pods. We lost something with them. I'm telling you. And then for, for a while there, it was actually funny. I'd get them like, uh, you, like the guys at like the gas stations, not like legitimate gas stations, but like, you know, the gas stations where you can like buy a bowl and shit. <laughs> like, 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 you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's how they make yeah. all their money. I was saying this the other day. They don't make money off the gas. Yeah. No, no. They make it off selling fucking dick pills, <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> I'd go in there. Right. And they'd be, they'd be like, Hey buddy, I have the mango. And I'm like, what? I'm like you have fucking mango. Right, Ugh. and um, it would be like you'd look at it, and it would be like the the writing was in Russian or something. They would get, like, <laughs> import mango from like internationally where it wasn't a problem. It's like black market mango jewel pods. So I'm at um, React Summit in uh, Jersey City, right, uh, a couple months ago, and mm-hmm. I'm all fucked up. We like just left like the barcade or some shit, right? I'm like ah, <laughs> barcade. And like a, yeah, the bar- so like across the street, there's like some like uh you know community store kind of thing right i'm like ah, i need fucking more vape shit so like, i go in there and I, i'm like asking for jewel pods and the guy's like you want mango and i'm like no <laughs> no i'm like freak the fuck out i bought like two packs of them i'm like sick dude all oh. right so i'm like so pumped i get back to the hotel room and i like pop it open right and this shit is just like like when it's like regular right like the the vape juice in there is like basically clear this shit is like brown like these things are obviously like a decade old <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I can't even smoke this. Like, oh, so you think they straight up don't make them anymore because they were banned? Yeah, it's like it's Did like I... the Quaaludes in Wolf of Wall Street. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, like yeah. what's floating around out there right now. <laughs> I feel like I've never seen Wolf of Wall Street, and I feel like I missed so many references because of it. You've People never seen it. You Wolf have of Wall to watch it. It's an amazing movie. Really? So okay. good. I've seen it so I'll many it times. Yeah. yeah I've did you watch Dunkirk? It. Did you end up watching? Dunkirk? I did watch Dunkirk. That was you good. know it was good. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, it didn't, I don't know. It didn't, it wasn't what I expected. It was good. It was like mm. visually and like the sound was great. Like that part of it was cool. But something about like the story, I don't know. It, I, I felt like There's not really a story. It's basically two hours of tension. Yeah, it's, yeah, two hours of tension. I felt underwhelmed and then I found like a rewatchables episode. You know, like the, the podcast mm-hmm. that talks about movies. And Quentin Tarantino's on there and he chose, he wanted them to talk about Dunkirk. And then I'm like, oh, this must be, I'm just dumb. Like, I don't understand. Because if he wants to talk about this movie, it must be amazing. Like, he knows stuff about movies. What do I know? Yeah, I, I, I does. think the thing with it is there's like, you know, there's war movies. We've seen a bunch of war movies. And Christopher Nolan's going to do a war movie. So he's got to do his, like, weird take on it. Because he always does something a little bit different. So yeah. what was interesting with that was the whole, like, timeline thing where, like. Yeah, the cutting around. Like the, like the pi- I also saw that movie. 100% tripping on acid in okay, theaters. That would probably help. Oh, wow. I, I would imagine I would have no, enjoyed it, didn't, it more. No, it just made it way oh. more confusing. I, lo- I <laughs> loved it. I thought it was amazing, and I like <laughs> loved the experience. But I read like way too deep into the story. I thought it was like way more complex than it actually was. <laughs> and I was like trying to figure out. Like I thought there was some like time travel shit going on, and, and it wasn't. Mm. It's just pretty straightforward i don't know that i fully i only watched it the one time i don't know if i fully got all the cutting around like if i really yeah it's just like clever timeline. ordering with like yeah. the pilot's experience is only like two hours and the people on the boat have like a two-day experience and people right. on the beach have like a one year one week experience uh but dude when the when the boats come through the fog and the music starts playing oh yeah that was cool there were some moments for sure Oh, yeah, that was cool. Do you feel anything ever? <laughs> I don't think I have emotions. Yeah, no, I don't think I do. Really? <laughs> it's a problem. I'm pretty emotionally uh, shallow. You don't get the... pissed off? Uh, no, I do get some, like, ragey, like, quick reaction, but then I'm fine. 
Like I have Dude, a very you get, like, like super pumped rage. about shit. Like he gets really? manic. I do get manic. <laughs> it's, true. it's not funny. <laughs> but but I, you're uh, never like, whoa, fucking sick. Like, <laughs> uh, not really. No. No. I mean, I used to play high school sports, and even then, I was like, I was pretty good at sports, but I didn't I was like, really awesome. like. We won. Cool. I mean, the people around me were very like, Ugh, you know, like that, and I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I'm like Dude, this. That's the best part about sports when, you, when your adrenaline's going and you're just like 100 percent down to murder the other team. You never I think felt I do that. Get, I think I get adrenaline. I just don't express it emotionally. If that makes sense. You don't talk like no. impulsive sports shit. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you just sit there all fight. You're like, whose house is this? I'm <laughs> 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 it's like you're playing children in tennis right now. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I feel. Oh, I just. I'm internal. It's all internal for me. What's going on in there? I don't know. Are you uh, thinking it? No, I, t I tell my wife, there's really nothing. There's not more to me. Like, there's not depth that you're missing out on. You guys have internal have monologue, it. right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Like, you hear words. Like, you actually yeah. hear. Yeah, 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 I don't know if I hear words. Maybe what is this shit like, with people like not? Up, yeah, like they say, like they don't. Like I'll sit there, I like yeah. walk into somewhere, and like in my head, I'll be like, "Look at this motherfucker." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I play out whole fantasies in my like, just I like play all these scenarios of like getting into fights with random people that but I people that I see don't? and argue with them. I don't understand. And they say people don't like visualize. Yeah, things? there's my wife can't see things. Like she can't visualize. I don't you understand say, like, that at all. How picture about, like, a red do you, egg. Do you, she can't do, do you it. visualize stuff in your head? Yeah, I can yeah. visualize for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's people. Okay, so I, I, was, I was talking to someone the other day, and I was like, "Okay, if I ask you what you had for dinner yesterday, do you not like imagine the visual of it in your head?" And they're like, "No, I just remember." I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about? How is that? <laughs> how is that possible?" I think they're fucking pulling our legs. To be honest with you, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand how that's possible. <laughs> yeah, like how do you how do you like remember where anything is? How do you like it? Just doesn't make any sense at you all. They said don't visualize anything. stuff. Right, like, yeah. You know, like if I was going to describe like a hypothetical situation, like I'm looking at it in my head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a name for it and everything. My wife has this. I don't remember what it's called. It's actually it... really funny. Like, um, like my most creative and my most like capable is when I'm making fun of something. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely like, relate to that. The same way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I forget what movie it was, but like, um, like I think it was like Channing Tatum, like went to go like, uh, like make fun of somebody dancing and like danced really well, right? And people were like, what the oh, fuck yeah, did you yeah, learn yeah. to dance when, like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, was that a uh, Jump Street? It might have been. <sighs> Maybe it's like wait, so you got good at dancing from making fun of people? Just making fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> that shit happens all the time you start doing something ironically and then you just start doing it normally and then there's no difference like if i like start like, playing the piano and like singing a song to like make fun of somebody it's like a billion times better than if i'm like trying to be serious about it <laughs> man i totally get that uh that's why i want everyone to be more into that but yeah. you know we, i don't know i don't growing up like we fucked with each other all day long yeah that's all we did all day long and like now like you're like whoa man chill you're like, come on, man. What kind of... <laughs> it's like, how am I supposed to get close to you if I can't do that? It just doesn't, it just doesn't work for me in my head. But again, I think this might be like a Northeast thing because yeah, a lot a of people thing, don't get this sure. at all. No, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it is a Northeast thing. I, I don't get, know like, a lot of like wit and, and vocabulary otherwise. and like fucking like, if you're not I firing have... back, then. Yeah, I appreciate like the, it. Oh, like, gif. I enjoy being around <laughs> you guys and I enjoy hearing you guys do it to other people. I just, I can't, I can't come up with it. I'm not that witty. What do you do when you hang out with someone that you're like close with? Someone you it's grew up ask. with that you're... I, I don't. I mean, I oh, don't yeah, hang yeah. out. Indoorsman. Right? <laughs> this is, you just, this did is you just see them out. and you're like, hey, it's really nice to see you. <laughs> 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 I mean, yes, that is what a Midwesterner would do. If you if you see uh, like two really northeast people, with. like two northeast yeah. people, if you see them not see each other for a while, and then and then come into contact, <laughs> like the first thing they say, I'm like, what's up, bitch? And like, oh, <laughs> fucking pussy! <laughs> <laughs> like first thing you do is just start like, coming at each other. Yeah. Uh, That's basically yeah, what I no. did on this call. I, I showed up and I started making fun of your hair. <laughs> That's the yeah, first thing I did. <laughs> Look at the hair on this asshole. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh man. Yeah. But, I want know, to hear more of what different. Kim thinks about about AI. Do, like, what is your AI take? I feel like I've probably seen it on Twitter, but I don't remember. Like, is it coming oh, for a man. job? Oh man, you, you know what, dude? So? It's like there's so much bullshit out there right now that it's actually really hard to separate the fucking yeah. the fact from fiction, right? Like, <clears throat> like a lot of reputable sources have a lot of things to say, but it's like in their own interest to do so. Like the mm. hype benefits them, right? So it's like, you know, maybe they're not being completely honest about this or that. So like, I don't know. I see like a lot of the same bullshit with AI that I did with crypto. Mm -hmm. It's like the same crowd jumped on. Um, it's unfortunate. Yeah. So it's really hard to see through that whole grift crowd thing. Now, fundamentally, right? It's cool, I guess. Um, I don't know. Do you use it? Like, do you use ChatGPT yeah. or yeah, anything else? Yeah, I'll use it to translate like code from one language to another yeah that's 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 like a big thing but like i don't know they, they're like oh generate this picture right and like yeah sure it's like it's like a crocodile on rollerblades right but like <laughs> what do you actually do with that <laughs> yeah it, nobody ever fucking actually, takes a shit and does anything with it yeah it, no it's crazy because do you remember when it first came out it was like really cool and now you can spot that shit from a mile away and it looks bad like yeah. every ai generated image just we like immediately like got it in our head and it just looks cliche now so yeah you know. can't really like, do much with it like the headshots like people get that right i'm like are you really gonna use that as your fucking picture it everybody, just looks knows, so everybody knows what it is it just <laughs> it just looks so lame remember well, that one that uh, that gave you abs i don't know if you saw that one yeah gave you like an eight pack yeah <laughs> awesome it's awesome i like the, the yeah. face app one where it like chads you out like enormously <laughs> yeah <laughs> the jaw i like yeah i like how it makes me look older like i i do the old one and i'm like that's definitely oh, yeah, what i'm gonna look one, like i feel like that does a really good job yeah, yeah. it's interesting but, like i was ahead. not even thinking about any of this when i said ai like i wasn't thinking about any of the generative like visual stuff it's interesting this all happened at once like that there's this peak moment where all this like image and media generation stuff people were on music and video it's all happening while the LLMs are doing all this text generation stuff. Is that coincidence? Is there some no, underlying no, they're, thing? They're all they're all powered by the same thing. Yeah, oh, they're all related. Is that so, the Transformers architecture or something? Yeah, it's it's all advances in in learning, right? So you have like LLMs, right, and that's like generating text. But then like you all, all like generating like music or fucking alligators and rollerblades. That's like <laughs> diffusion models, right? There's like there's many different things that they have going on. Um, what what frightens me right is is just the pace mm. um and like the like what could happen with the pace right so like i don't know like, a, like if you look at like video and images like a year ago or two years ago to like now like the pace of that is wild so like right now it's used for like like dumb shit like that um or right you'll you'll like ask chat gpt something and like it'll sort of tell you the right answer mm -hmm. some of the time but like have a thought experiment right like extrapolate that out a little bit right like like what if it does like double consistently or quadruple consistently what if it does get like really really smart what if it can do your job what if it can do everyone's job then well, what? dax and i've talked about this openly on, then I mean, what? on the podcast right like a lot I mean, of people I guess... a lot of people think it's going to be like this like fucking like like they think like oh well if uh if ai takes all the jobs Right then, oh well, then the government will just give us money to fucking lay around and play the flute. <laughs> play the flute. <laughs> Motherfucker, no, they won't. <laughs> no, they won't. And, and, and like you know, they they say we right, like like it's a fucking team sport, and you know, they're, <laughs> like they're like rooting for the Giants, but no, there is no fucking we. <laughs> right, the 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 best AI is going to be built by the people who have the money to to train the models, right? So this is wholly owned by the companies, and the government doesn't have shit to do with it. So, you know, yeah. I, 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 like if you, the people are like, oh yeah, well fucking you're going to have to adapt, adapt motherfucker. Like, <laughs> and they always say like farming, right? Like farming is a big example. Like how many farmers are there? Well, if you actually look at the chart, right? From like 1700 to now, it goes from like 99% to 4%. Yeah. Yeah. We shifted away from, from agricultural economy, but it took 200 fucking years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, like 200 years of other shit cropping up right yeah this is um, happening much faster yeah, yeah so if it happens in like five years then what 
Yeah, what did what? I don't know. Because I, I, I just think about my own job mostly because I'm selfish. But I don't consider like the broader impact of like if all knowledge workers are useless because AI is better than them. What does that mean? I, I have no idea. Well, I already think like most people are just sitting around. I, I, I just assume like most of our economy is like 80% wasted time. People sitting in chairs. Uh, but like but what happens when that whole speaking, just goes away? Yeah, economically, economically speaking, speaking. Right. If, if you took if you if you got rid of every white collar worker in America, mm -hmm. right? Like what's the economic impact of that? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like our, our, our system doesn't work at all. It doesn't work. Like no part it of doesn't, it works. Like the companies that made these AI systems don't benefit from nobody being able to pay for them. So what is the answer? Who, who Somebody has the answer, right? I, what are you going to adapt to? You're going to adapt to become a plumber, right? <laughs> <laughs> who, nobody has money to pay plumbers. And now you have fucking 100 million new plumbers that just entered. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's going to go awesome for plumbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what is the answer? Like, is there a scenario yeah, where I, this does go I think go the so reality is, is the technology can move extremely quickly, and I believe it'll, it will. And I think it's already very good and doesn't need to get that much better. There's just, like, a bunch of coordination problems to solve. So I believe that will happen pretty quick. But the physical world is extremely slow. Uh, like, there's like a lot of tech that we're using, and we were just talking earlier about how old some of this shit is. Like AI doesn't speed up a lot of those things. And there's going to be a lot of opportunity for a while to like help figure out how to like get this stuff into these big legacy companies. Like let's say there's like a company, like big CPG manufacturing companies, like the fucking companies that make Oreos and like every other thing that we buy off the grocery shelves. Uh, that's like a real business. AI doesn't remove the need for people to produce or eat food. Uh, Theoretically, it could impact a lot of their operations and like make them more efficient and, and do all kinds of stuff. But imagine how slow doing any of this stuff is. Like I like some of these companies are like just moving to the cloud. You go try to work at these any of these companies, like doing any micro thing is just like this massive pain in the ass. So I do think AI will be massively like there's so many places where it's gonna get into and, and shake things up, but I, I have a hard time imagining it'll be fast just because, like, these companies are so bureaucratic and it doesn't really matter what the technology is. I think it's, I think it's mostly rate and, and like, the, the compounding unlock, right? Like, so say, say for example, right, like, you, they, they achieve AGI, right? Like, you have a thing that's, like, smart, smarter than any person on Earth, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you can run it pretty efficiently. Like, that thing will literally tell you how to build its robotic counterpart <laughs> that shit's, right. that shit's yeah. like that shit's op, like number one thing that it will want is it's to again, be physical mobile, world yeah right so yeah. It, so it'll be a robot now and now the robot can do everything you can do physically so then what yeah i mean that is possible i think that i'm skeptical if that happens anytime soon because if that happens that's like the whole compounding thing like the moment you invent that, like five years forward from that, like I don't like you're just in like an unimaginable form of the world. So like we might be like harnessing the sun's energy like directly and shit like that. Like I it just I'm skeptical that's I would love to see that. And I don't care if I die in the process because it's fucking insane. <laughs> um but yeah, I have a hard time imagining that we're like on the cusp of that. I see two possible outcomes. Right? One is that fucking we're just so obsolete that it just kills us and like the the new life form right is machine yeah yeah right and then you just have like a fucking dark planet whirring with fucking machines and they're going yeah. out <laughs> pulling resources out of the solar system and shit yeah and the other one is even more bleak right which is where like you set this shit up right and it's like this like fucking space communism bullshit where like everyone's just sitting around without any purpose yeah right? Right. But like, you know, it, like, like, let's say there's no jobs or anything like that. And they say, oh, we're going to give everyone fucking what they need. Like, like, they're not going to give you more because you used to be a software engineer. They're going to, you know, every single person. Give everyone the right? same. Yeah. It's going to be like an equitable thing. Right. Which will actually work out to not much because fucking that doesn't change resources. Right? Unless we're in a simulation, they put us in a simulation. Then we they can do whatever they want. Mm. Dude, 
I'm telling you, if the, if the simulation, like if you could hear what they're saying, it's probably the funniest shit. They're probably like, look at this motherfucker. You know, like, <laughs> I always thought it'd be cool, right? If you could like, if you could like create like simulations of, of basically all, like all the entire earth, right? And like start a caveman and then just like hit play and then like 15 exit, right? And then yeah. just watch what they come up with, right? Like I, I was like, yeah, dude, you could steal like steal their, yeah, steal their <laughs> technology. <laughs> But then, like, like also, like, like you got to get hit with some funny shit once in a while like that. Like, you're sitting there, you're like, dude, look at this shit that they came up with. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Come here, I'm going to show you this shit. Yeah. And sometimes, like, you see that they're so close to getting something, but they're, like, just missing it by, like, an inch, you know? Uh, I just want to be put in a simulation myself. Like, put me in a simulation. Like, give me, like, unlimited resource in there. I think I'll find... An enjoyable life to live. So say say like they come out with San Junipero. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Where do you want that to be? Like where? Oh, like yeah. What's, I don't what's, know. What's, what's your what's your San Junipero? But like, why why do I have to pick? Isn't it like like there's no I limits think they in there? Picked. Wait, but you're talking about like what like era of time? I and guess like they picked an era and maybe era a location, like, but yeah, well, well, you know, I, I do, uh, do pre the Jersey shore and like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like 1997. Pre yeah. Pre nine 11. Drinking water out of the hose. Everything was fucking fun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like I would just leave the house in the morning. My parents just wouldn't know where the fuck I was. And I was like eight years old and just out doing random shit and come back and just, Dollar no, Arizona's in skateboarding forever. Dude, Dollar Arizona's, oh, so good. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I would do. That sounds really nice. Uh, right? Yeah. That would be the shit. Mm -hmm. How back. would they keep your, like, you'd just be on basically like a life support system? Like, if there was a simulation and we were all just being, like, there's something feeding our brain, this, everything we see. Like, what's happening to our physical body? Seems wasteful. They'd probably just jack you out and fucking containerize your fucking being put you in a docker container yeah <laughs> oh, no. that would be the ultimate irony and twist of fate we all ended up in <laughs> docker containers no but seriously oh, like, like if they could like yeah what well, was most efficient if they could like build up like whatever like the the graph data structure of your fucking brain is and then like plop well, right. okay. What sucks so though is then that's a copy, and that's like this say, whole philosophical thing. You? Like, is that actually going to be me? Consciousness? What I don't is know. Consciousness? I don't know the transfer technology. I put fucking rectangles <laughs> on a fucking web page. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, you know, if if that, none of that happens, you know what my plan is. If I'm getting close to dying, I want them to freeze me and shoot me into space. Because if space <laughs> is infinite, some fucking alien is going to eventually find me, and maybe they'll have the. <laughs> The chance to bring me back to life. Maybe they have the technology. And I'll just wake up like in a different planet but and start do you a think, new life. Do you think that alien finds you in the infinity of space before you hit some object or something melts you and falls you out, like you hit some sun or Why something? Why do you gotta be pessimistic? I'm just saying, like, the, if it's an infinite <laughs> vastness of space, the odds of hitting like a celestial body that we can see with our telescopes is probably a little higher than some alien civilization picking you up. He gets rescued. They're probably looking for me probably it's yeah. thought out on the planet <laughs> where all of the inhabitants are six foot tall stacked blonde women <laughs> that's probably what's uh, most likely going to happen mm -hmm. like, yeah just scientifically Sounds, speaking for sure i always thought about like aliens like like it's probably like not what we think right like we have like so many like biases around like yeah like uh, humanoid form and shit like that like there's probably mm -hmm. aliens right but they're like made out of like not carbon and just like they're moss they're or, yeah you know something weird. I, I, I imagine that they would just be extremely disgusting, like the most disgusting thing you've ever seen. Like you go look at anything from the deep sea, it just like it's gross mm. as fuck. Yeah, yeah. It is. and just anything that develops in a foreign environment, I feel like is probably going to be completely disgusting to us. Gross. Mm. Yeah, it's like when you guys see people from gross. New Jersey. <laughs> 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 You're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so speaking uh, of. Kind of related. Have you guys seen this new show, Shogun? No. No. Okay, so it's a sh it's an FX show. It's really good. We've only seen two episodes, but it seems really good. It takes place in, I think, like the 1600s, back when Japan was first kind of being discovered by the rest of the world. And it's like Portuguese traders are like starting to establish 
uh, contact with them. I think it's set up to be like a Game of Thrones type thing. It's not like it's not fantasy, but it's like really political and intricate. And there's a lot of things going on. Um, but I was like, man, this shit was so weird. Like these people were living in Japan and then these other people just show up and they're like, who are you? And they're like, oh, we're from this other place called England. And it's just like meeting aliens at that point, like completely different culture, completely different language. And this was just happening. Like people were just showing up and like, we don't experience hmm. that anymore because we've discovered the whole world as far as we know. Um, but yeah, like if you lived back then, like there's, there's, there were these Portuguese people born in Portugal in the 1600s, took a ship to Japan, ended up learning Japanese, living there, like spreading Catholicism. Like what did a fucking like insane life? Like it's, that's, that's basically visiting another planet at that point. Imagine being like English, like 500 years ago. <laughs> like, like you just wake up and you're like, you're like ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on this fucking boat and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. like, like you have no idea. That stuff, that stuff is crazy. I can't believe people did that. Like I always think about the uh, like the Samoans. You know the shit that they did where they would like end up on an island. They would look at the waves and they would be like, oh yeah, the waves look kind of funny here. There's probably another island like in that direction and they would just fucking get in a canoe and go <laughs> if they were wrong you just die like what is i can't believe people did that was and they went life from island just, to island to shit island had to be pretty Maybe dire it, it probably was yeah. like life just probably wasn't that great so like yeah eh, might die but it's at least there's a chance then like, can you imagine you yeah. get there like i'll sit there like I, I do this thing where like it'll be like five in the morning right and i'm just like waiting to poop I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just sitting there and I'll, I'll like go on Wikipedia and I'll be like, I'm like, so what's the deal with this? Right. And then they yeah. just like spend like two and a half hours. Right. <laughs> and like you find out like potatoes aren't from Ireland. Right. They're from like South America. Mm -hmm. Like what the fuck? Wow. Like the, there's so many weird things like the, like the pre-Columbian fucking origin yeah. of all these different things. Mm. But like, can you imagine being like the first person to come over and be like, what the fuck is this? Right? And it's a it's like a <laughs> banana. All the time. And you're like, this is yeah. unfucking real. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, just, you, just, people are just discovering shit all the time. I mean, you know the thing with the the spice, the chilies? This this one blows my mind. Uh I'm Indian. I think of my food as spicy. We love spicy food. Spicy food didn't exist pre like the whole Colombian stuff what? because chilies only existed in South America. So you take any cuisine, Thailand, India, all these places you think of as having spicy food only within the last like several hundred years. Prior to that, their food wasn't spicy wow. because chilies originated in South America. Is chili and the it only seems spicy impossible. thing? Huh? Is chili the only spicy thing? The, just a chili, like the chili family of like stuff that makes up spicy. The, the what's it called? The yeah. capas, whatever the capsation. This capsation, yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, it originated in South America. Nobody had spicy food before that, and I'm just like, this can't be real, but it is. That's crazy. Yeah. So at some point, there was some Indian parent that was like a normal Indian person. Then their kid was like, oh, look at this new shit I just made up, and the, the Indian parent was like, oh, that's too spicy for me, you know. <laughs> Like that happened. Did they know back the word the spicy? Well, I mean, like, oh well, yeah, I guess they invented it for yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's wild. That is wild what as was... hell. Yeah, it's super wild. Yeah. Like, like thinking about like how like the cultures in antiquity were so different. Yeah, because like the like peppers must have just been unreal for them. Peppers, yeah, not chilies. Peppers, yeah, yeah. It's mm. uh yeah i mean I, sometimes i like try to sit and i like close my eyes and try to imagine like walking around in like greece and i'm just like just can't it definitely just can't be real but it is you know it's actually super impressive that they actually yeah. did a lot of the shit that they did it's super impressive mm -hmm. that fucking anybody I, I cannot believe that the human race didn't die out oh yeah it's crazy mm. It's so crazy. Like, life was so hard. Like, even just having a baby and making it survive. It's hard today. Like, yeah. I think a baby about all the times nuts. I ate some shit and then, like, I got food poisoning and I would have died if it wasn't for, mm. like, like several times in my life I would have already died if I was, like, in another part of history. People just had, like, yeah. lots of babies just to increase the odds, I guess. But then you die when you have a baby, like, 50% of the oh, time or some shit. Yeah. Like, it's. 
It's, uh, How did we make you it? You could literally eat at McDonald's and you'd be eating better than a king. Hmm. Yeah. It's fucking wild. It's wild. It's kind of nuts. Yeah. Like back then, like the people were like really worried it. about animals. Like, are you really worried about animals? Like the whole yeah, time. That's funny. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no, never. You know, like yeah. my friends in Nevada Sometime- and shit, they're afraid of like mountain lions or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. But like we dominated that shit a while ago, and now we don't have to worry about it cougars. at all. <laughs> now we like cougars. <laughs> I saw that coming. Remember, from like people were like people were like afraid of wolves, right? Like, yeah, wolves. Yeah, I mean, in uh, in India, like tigers are a big thing. Like, and even now, like we can look up videos, even from like, a couple of years ago, where like a leopard gets loose in the village and everyone's fucking going nuts because it's just. Have you ever actually like, seen a tiger? Out. Yeah, they're big. Yeah, I was at a zoo. It was either DC or New Orleans, one of the two. But I'm, I'm sitting there, and I had recently found out that, like, like tiger attacks are still very much a thing in India. So yeah. I'm like, oh, there's this tiger over here, right? And, like, lions. Lions are kind of bitch-like, like, compared to, like, what they're, like, you know, oh, fucking lions. So, like, you see lions, <laughs> you're like, okay. <laughs> but I went over by the tiger cage, right? And this shit was, like, it just made, like, a noise, right? Like, like, like a... The guttural yeah, thing? And, yeah, like, and it's mm-hmm. crazy. You fucking hear it, dude. I'm like, that is, like... That's like one of the scariest things I've ever heard in my life. That that exists. Yeah. Like, could you imagine you're yeah. just like chilling, right? And you hear that, like this no, massive monster of a cat. It's terrifying. Have you seen that video with the guy and the elephant? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's there's a guy riding an elephant. The video is like from some guy sitting behind him. So they're on the elephant, and they're walking through a field with like kind of high grass and then you see something moving in the grass and the tiger jumps up up like onto the elephant and like swipes his arm and like he gets injured and then it like it runs away it like jumped as high as an elephant to fuck with him jeez i don't know what you did you can't climb trees they can climb trees yeah you can't do you're you're screwed that's houses scary figured out how to build shelter (laughs) <laughs> yeah, doors and locks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something, something got loose but, in New Jersey pretty recently. Was it a bear? No, the bears in New Jersey aren't really like bears. No, it was like yeah, a, they're not really like a threat. It was something cooler, like a lion. Mountain lion? No, no, like a lion, lion. I think. Oh, like from a zoo? Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, it's funny. I was looking at this thing. Like, I, I, I like. You know, have you ever gone to like the beef jerky place and they have like all like the exotic meats? Yeah, alligator yeah. and rattlesnake and everything like that <clears throat> so i like that there was this like a uh, there was this bar in new brunswick right that had like a <clears throat> like a speakeasy meat oh, restaurant I know, I know exactly what you're talking about yeah. it's like across from the courthouse or like, i think it, Clyde's. i know what you're talking about yeah clyde's yeah yeah exactly. you go in there and then you get like rattlesnake and this is and that so like i, I got like yeah, into that. i was like, like oh man i gotta like yeah. see what, what like like what, what's like the the max on this right so there was a company in florida selling lion tacos lion yeah what mm-hmm. are you supposed to eat predators though isn't that like a whole i don't know they got shut down then it can be sketched the whole thing got shut oh, okay. down <laughs> that makes sense Dude, these headphones look fucking ragged look at this shit my big ass head fucking <laughs> <laughs> Dude, i'm tell i'm telling you the uh this is why i don't wear normal headphones when you shave your head headphones just don't look look as good I, i'm gonna get like the head. ridge have you seen that the headphone ridge oh yeah <laughs> Oh, I've, yeah, like dents in the head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. That's what we are today. They used to like run from lions, and now we're like oh, <laughs> headphone <lions>. dents. <laughs> yeah, my oh, finger man. hurts from ordering my Uber Eats. Right. Whenever you like read like like old stories and writings and shit, they're like so dramatic that it seems like corny if you were to do it today. And I think a lot of the reason is like shit like that, right? Because it literally was dramatic. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the flip side, though, like sometimes you read like older philosophy books and stuff, it's crazy how modern their problems feel. Like they just talk about a lot of the same shit that that we talk about, but like you know, two thousand years ago, just like the same shit that we deal with today. And what's crazier is they like figured out all that shit back then when like life was a lot harder. Like when do they have the time to do this? I think about our like uh, like the founding fathers of America. These people were insane. Like they, you know, 
grew up in the 1700s, which is like a crazy time to live, like nothing modern. They fought a war, which is crazy, like just fighting a war. Then they like understood enough about like government and philosophy and like they understood like how ancient Greece worked and like got inspiration from that. Like they knew all this stuff and they created a constitution. Like how did they do all this? And they were like 24 at the time. In one life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except for Ben Franklin. What the hell? Who was just like yeah, old, he was a weirdo. chilling, getting his dick sucked. He was fucking awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Yeah. Dude, can you imagine being <laughs> such a fucking pimp that fucking you weren't a president and get put on the money? <laughs> <laughs> like the best money too <laughs> like this guy is like uh, the fucking, yeah. this guy is the man <laughs> yeah. somebody probably proposed it and he's like wait hold on a second shut the fuck up like, <laughs> <laughs> we're not discussing this <laughs> well you know the, the reason why is because they didn't have tiktok dude well if it gets banned i feel we're gonna have a productivity boost yeah, I mean they didn't have they Is didn't have the happen? phone, they didn't have the 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 bread and circus, all the you know, it was like yeah. for for fun they would go like read books. Like they couldn't wait to get their hands <laughs> on a book. That's true, They're yeah. Like a fucking chemistry yeah. textbook? I'm gonna lock myself up and fucking read it by candlelight. And it's <laughs> it's gonna rule. It's gonna be the best. <laughs> That's all you had to do. Yeah. It was like that or like what? Do you remember like like everyone here is old enough to remember like pre cell phone? Like do you remember like waiting for a ride after like football oh, practice yeah. without a cell yeah. phone? Like you're just sitting there on a curb, you're like Yeah. You're like fucking ripping grass <laughs> apart, like fucking throwing rocks at the curb. Like, <laughs> you didn't fucking have anything to do. You could just sit there and think yeah. about all this shit, right? You'd be like, oh man. It's kind of crazy, like the you, the thing that you put on hot dogs is called condiments. Uh, like, <laughs> you know, like, like you have time to think about things like that, and like yeah. Now you know. I, uh, I, I do wonder about that because, like, when you go anywhere and there's a line, it's everyone's on their phone, and yeah. then you imagine, like, what was this like 20 years ago? There's no or idle. Was like 10 years ago. God, there's no, the no time where your brain is idle anymore, yeah, right? It was like the it's worst. always always active, always being fed something like dopamine, yeah. or whatever. That's why I like actually never I've never gotten in the habit of taking headphones when I go anywhere. Like I don't listen to anything when I'm walking or anything. I don't. So like Really? That's just situational awareness. I listen to books. Wait, situational awareness like you, you need to not be listening so if somebody like comes up on you yeah. or something. Cuz I don't have to worry about that in the Ozarks. So maybe that's why. Yeah, no, I, just... I don't like that shit. Like if, if I'm walking through like the city or something, I don't put headphones yeah. on. I want to know what's going on. Same thing. That that's like another thing with like parenting. Like like we have like Oculus and shit like that, and it's like really difficult to like immerse into that because I have like like pending responsibilities. Yeah, right? like I don't sit here with yeah. headphones on because it's like, oh, like what if something happens upstairs? And, like a kid gets hurt, or you know, like my wife like falls off of a chair or something. Like, um, I I, I don't like the idea of that. Yeah. Well, now I feel like no. a jerk for listening to music while I work. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you don't care about your family, so it's no. That's yeah, cool. I guess not. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. You know, like you know, like you'll go somewhere and like, or like a, or when a plane doesn't have Wi-Fi. Uh, you yeah. know, like most of. I, I feel yeah. like, like actual anxiety when mm -hmm. I like I don't know that if I need to be reached, I could be reached. Yeah, you don't know like what pending news is happening. Exactly, I'll be like mm. on like an airplane, yeah. right? And there's no Wi-Fi. And I'm like, oh my god, like, like I could be getting like canceled on Twitter right now, and I would have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like land, and then like boom, 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 actually enjoy my life and i like leave my phone somewhere and i forget about it for hours then i remember i'm like fuck there's definitely something bad <laughs> and i like go and i like feel so relieved when there's like nothing uh if you if you it's, if, it's weird if you make yourself uncontactable for like six to eight hours somebody's gonna have a problem with it oh, i'll yeah. tell you a funny story i mean my wife. i was in react miami and uh -huh. I land and I get there and, um, you know, everyone's like in the hot tub and the pool area hanging out. I'm like, ah, what's going on? So I think like, I go, you know, 
two hours later, I have like the bartenders making like the drink, my signature drink. I'm like, yeah, so it's like white wine and a little triple sec. No, no, no. She's a fucking house, right? So I'm like, all right, guys, all right, I'm going to go take a shower and then, uh, you know, we can meet up for the speaker dinner or whatever. So I go up and I'm like, you know, classic me. Ah, I tell you what, I say, just lay down for one second. That was a lot, you know. <laughs> I fucking wake up. It's like one in the morning. <laughs> I get there's like a billion missed calls from my wife. She's like, she's like, what the fuck? Da, da, da. I call her. I'm like, I'm like, hey. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, you're not gonna believe this. I literally fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> And like she like believed like she's like you know she wasn't like you're you're lying about this, you know. But it was just so weird for me to like not be contactable that it, she was like yeah was like, he's like dead or in jail or something. Yeah. What, what was yeah what was business travel like like thirty years ago when people didn't have cell phones? Oh god, it was probably awesome. You could like smoke cigarettes and shit and fucking <laughs> harass the flight attendants. And, like, that's that's how I'm that's how I'm imagining it went. You had like real silverware and you're like drinking whiskey and shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how any of this stuff happened because when I lived in New York, I'd always like go and meet up with my friends and we would like literally have our location shared so we knew that like, oh, okay, he's going to be here in a couple minutes. Like imagine going to meet up with for someone to dinner and they just don't show up and you're like, are they dead? Like, should I wait? <laughs> Like, what the fuck do I do? I just feel like doing anything seems impossible. Like, coordinating oh, anything. Back in the day, I remember, dude, we used to sit there and, like, like we would hang out at the boardwalk 7-Eleven. Right? There was a 7-Eleven like, yeah. right across from the world. we just, like, hang out on this bike rack. Right? And, like, that's just how you... Like, I'd, like, I'd leave my house and I'd be like, let me go Sev. Right? I'd go over there and I'd, they'd be on the, the bike rack. I'm like, hey! Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'd post up on the bike <laughs> rack and, like... <laughs> like you'd have like this but like we didn't have cell phones or anything like that and i remember like there was this girl right and she like she wasn't she didn't live in the town she just like came for the summer sort of right so like we didn't know her that well but we knew her well enough and you know like i, I like finally kind of locked it in right it was kind of like established <laughs> that it, something might go down and this is like young too he's like 12 right so it's not like <laughs> so like she had to go and like i had to go because it was like curfews or whatever and i'm like I'm like, all right, yo, what are you doing tomorrow? She's like, she's like, I'll be out. She's like, come find me, right? Like, there was none of this, like, like come find me. Yeah. Right? So then, like, you, yeah. you're sitting there, like, like 12, 13 years old, pussy brained, right? Like, fucking out there on the bike rack. <laughs> you know, people roll up. I'm like, yo, you see, you seen Annie? You know, like, <laughs> and you yeah. know, and they're like, no, we didn't. I'm like, where the fuck is she? Right? Like, yeah, I'm gonna go ride my yeah. bike and let's see, 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 she's out and about, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't find her. Oh no! But yeah, it, yeah, it's I, wild. that's what it was like. Stuff was more. Uh, you know, when you described that, I was like, oh yeah, that, that is. That. Now I can remember what it was like. Just random shit would happen like that all the time, and it would feel really good when it worked out. Yeah, because it was random, entirely out of your control. You see each other, you'd be like, hey, what's up? Yeah. You'd link up, and <laughs> you remember like calling people's yeah. houses. Oh yeah, like hi, Miss Rad is oh, yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Calling the, the yeah. parents pick Not up. For you. You gotta, yeah. Not for you. Not for you, he is it? <laughs> <laughs> you call a girl's house, you're like, yeah. may I please speak with <laughs> <laughs> I uh I need help with my homework or like I forgot my, my worksheet. Are <laughs> <laughs> you like you, I remember like like also pre cell phone, like they like you'd have like the cord like it wasn't just the one kitchen phone. Like we evolved to have the multiple cordless phones. Yeah. Right. So you'd be sitting there, like, like talking to some girl, like, I know what you did. Da, 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 da. You sucked the dick, right? And it's like, <laughs> like, you hear like a cordless phone click off. <laughs> Somebody was listening. <laughs> Man. You're like motherfucker. Like, there was like no expectation yeah. of privacy whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Man, I can't believe I, I can't believe we lived through that. That feels like a different, different. There's time. like adults who have no concept of what that was like yeah that's true like people who there's yeah. like people in their 20s right now who like never experienced any of that yeah and they were born like in the year 2001 which is insane that people were born yeah. then <laughs> yeah it's fucking crazy business man yeah i'm glad i grew up and i yeah like when we did it's just i felt like it was just like childhood was like so much simpler 
and straightforward. I love my, I love growing up. Just everything about it. I wonder it. if it was great. childhood was was simpler. I wonder if the kids now, right, like like tech aside, will have the same thing just because it's childhood or because it actually was. Yeah, it's hard to say the nostalgia and like just not having responsibilities and and all of that, but. <laughs> Like when, my days were straightforward as fuck. Like I just did the same thing every single day. There was like a huge shift though. Like because, but like prior to that, for a good portion there, like kids could just go out and be out and about. You know, like go outside. That's what that's when I was yeah. That's when I grew yeah. up. That's that was normal. Yeah, yeah, but that's like super not normal now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like it's it's like and even as an adult, I feel like there's this thing that happened. I don't know I mean, let's talk about this. Like I don't know if it's like a post COVID thing. Like, I feel like no one just hangs out, at least for us, like in our circles, no one just hangs out randomly. It's like you have to like schedule a formal meeting like two weeks in advance to like have dinner for exactly two hours. And just like, I just don't, that just is a different thing. Like it doesn't, I feel like we lost something. It's a, it's a big schedule thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's just part of getting older, but it's just different than how we used to operate. Like I would just like get done with the work and then just like randomly go meet up with one of my friends like all the time and it just is not a thing that happens as much Did your friends have kids my friends don't have kids now and it's still kind of like still after like covid i feel like everything turned into like more of a plan kids is like a big thing like schedule wise like yeah. this guy. like like you know my boys will be like yeah i get that oh we're all gonna go fucking do this at buffalo wild wings and i'll be like i'm like yeah i'm gonna go to buffalo wild wings on a fucking tuesday night what do you fucking <laughs> <laughs> i'll never hear the end of it yeah yeah no but like even with our friends that, like, that don't have kids i feel like we forgot how to just randomly casually hang out it just ended up having to be like you, don't, this you definitely formal don't plan. pop over anybody else's place anymore yeah we're used to it's like yeah and that was great i loved it and i would love it now like if someone did that right now i'd have no problem with it we actually have a neighbor that kind of does that, and it's it's nice, but it's not normal. If somebody like just like pulled up, like midday, and was like, "What are you doing?" Right now, didn't have anything going on. Like that'd be like the best thing. I'd be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, got a bottle and fuck, do dumb <laughs> shit." Yeah, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> we should show up at yeah. Adam's house. I don't really, I don't really, I don't really do the hanging out thing. I thought it was just because we had kids, and now we just don't prioritize any kind of social life well, but maybe even it's just do? our personalities like with people so i think so uh, so we there, don't there's... just like hang out with people right like we don't just like fucking hang out with, like um, i don't have like you know i know i know people who do who, like have like like you know the kind of guys who like go to like all their friends like 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 wedding all their college friends weddings you know like oh it's wedding season <laughs> gotta go to all these weddings all these people that fucking <laughs> like really close like i don't have any of that um, yeah, I mean, nothing like that. No, uh, but you know, yeah. there's people that do. Right? They, oh, well, my best buds for life. These fucking college people and shit. I don't have any of that. But I think that if you find people, especially with kids, right? Like if 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 you find people that are like the same kind of people as you, hanging out with them is a lot of fun. We we had the, so that's yeah, that's the problem. There we we don't know you can't anybody find somebody like that us fucking weird in the area. We're we're pretty different. <laughs> like yeah, exactly. I mean, we live in a very like like a very mono culture uh like the ozarks are a certain thing and we're very different from that thing so there's really not like a lot of overlap we've never really found people that we felt like we connected with here this just got depressing i'm sorry (laughs) yeah well i mean we had the people who were on the same page like they had like kids and like to fucking just like chill and drink white claws in the pool and shit but they moved Mm. Uh, that's the worst yeah. heartbreaking and i was like ah damn it because like yeah. the, 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 the other like there's there's people we can hang out with but it's not really same page yeah where yeah. you're just yourselves like I, i've definitely experienced that in life like the difference between like people that you could have over but you're kind of just like ready for it to be over from the beginning like you just don't really want to sit down and do the dinner thing it's just the whole thing's kind of like less comfortable than your normal life yeah and then there's people That's that you can just really be yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, why are we even doing this? Do, do you guys even want to be here? Like, do we want you to be here? No, it, this is kind of stupid. Like, we've definitely done I do that. have some contenders, though, at the moment. Oh, and, um, that's good. People that might be that. So you end up meeting, like, you like your, your, your kids' school friends' parents. Mm. And sometimes, right. sometimes they're cool. 
a lot of the times they're like dude that's great when you have kids that they're a little networking box for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> no matter if you meet people who are like you know cut from the same cloth or generally on the same page like that works out you know like i've chilled with a, with a couple parents that like to like have like a play date and they'll be like oh well yeah you guys come over too we'll do dinner or some shit right it's like cool and then there's other ones where it's just like completely different they go to like birthday parties <laughs> we're 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 like uh like a lot of like the parents here are older in this particular okay. area right so like i roll up in like fucking like this right and these guys are more of like the like the on clouds and the quarter zip fleece <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i the closest thing i've got now to like a burgeoning social life is just the people at my jiu-jitsu gym i do feel like oh, that there's is a certain the bond it really is like i have nothing else in common with most of them but just that's enough it's like we have this thing in common and i do see i could like see some of those things turning into friendships that yet? i actually uh no they did a christmas party and i wasn't able to make it that's the closest thing that would have happened i i, I yeah. made a lot of good friends from from martial arts tons it's a bonding experience it really is i mean it's kind of hard not to you gotta have you gotta have like gym I can't believe we haven't talked about jujitsu yeah it's great i, I had no idea you were into jujitsu like you've been doing it for a while Somehow I, I haven't that. been doing it for a while. <laughs> or you haven't been doing it for you just I mean like you've been doing it long enough to be I mean you're a you're a late blue belt. That's you've been doing it for a, a little while. Can't believe I've never heard you talk no, no, about no, it on I did Twitter it, or something. Like, I don't know. like it I did it like very very aggressively. Um That's how I and then it. after kids it like tapered off. Mm, for the most part. Yeah. I've gone back like a few times. But um yeah not not recently but yeah how much fun is that it's so much fun oh it's the best Dex, you gotta do it you gotta give it a shot it's really quite a bit of fun it's kind of a hard thing to just give a shot like you just go once or twice and you're just gonna be in pain and your hands are gonna hurt and you're gonna be like why did i do that you kind of have to like go all in for a while and then give it a real shot but it does have implications it's very chess like it's it's cerebral oh, yeah. the, the cerebral side of it yeah, yeah for sure like 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 you're always trying to like if you actually want to land something, like you have to set it up like in advance, and you also need yeah. to be able to detect when they're setting it up, right? You're like, like feeling the flow. It's crazy, and then it's also and really funny because like, you know, if you're at like work all day long and it's like regular like tech, one well, and not so much now post cert, but like like pre tech was like really really sensitive, um, and then like you leave work and you just go to this gym and everybody's like calling each other a bitch and a pussy and shit. <laughs> it was like the best. <laughs> yeah the contrast <laughs> yeah is that what your gym is like adam are people calling you no. a bitch no I, it's the you're, not, you're not comfortable it's with them enough. oh it's midwestern no it's just like midwest is a different too. culture yeah i mean it's just like <laughs> people are different here we're all kind of like half fake all the time just a little like shiny veneer in front of everything we do man are you guys all robots what it's kind of like yeah I appreciate the East Coast, like how you guys are, just how raw, and you just say what you think. Like I wish I could. Be why, don't, why don't they do that? It actually bothers <clears> me that crying. they don't do that. That people in the Midwest don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, me too. I think it gets worse if you go like, I mean, Southern California is probably the worst, right? In terms of fakeness and like, pretend like you like somebody or like you're the Seattle free there for them when you're not. What is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's I don't basically know about that. The so is it just yeah. everywhere except for the Northeast? <laughs> I think so. I think the Northeast is no, unique. No, I think the South is like a a politer Northeast. Do mm. you think people are straightforward in the South? I think so. I guess I, I don't know either way. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess it depends. Miami is its own thing. Miami's not in the United States, so it's like it's got its own vibe. I don't vibe. consider, that, I don't, I don't straightforward consider as fuck Florida... Here at least the bottom half of florida the south yeah no it's it's yeah it's it's different but people are here are like really straightforward but that, that's more of like the the latin side of things i feel like also like florida is at least 65 percent people who came there from new york 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's funny. So uh, speaking of like, uh, you know, getting to know people that you click with. So we moved to so our old house is available and we're like really keeping an eye on who moves in there because we're hoping that oh. the people that we like to chill with because that'd be amazing if you're like cool with your neighbors like that uh every single person that has looked at it has been from new york every single one it's really crazy huh. uh there was actually one that wasn't but she was from san francisco so yeah hmm. everyone moves here it's crazy is it still is it still heated up or is it cooled down a little the market uh I think it's it's definitely not continuing to increase. I don't know if stuff has gone down that much, maybe a little bit, but it's not like going up anymore, which is which is good. That is good. Yeah. Um but the interest rates fuck everything up. Like I don't you know, know. It's just the prices haven't matched those yet. I feel like the problem, the biggest problem is that unlike many places, um, like you have Miami and like normally I'd be like, Oh, go like fucking like you know, 30 minutes west. But, like, 30 minutes west is a fucking giant swamp, swamp right? Like, like, yeah. like 75% <laughs> of that whole area is just swamp. Right? Yeah. So you don't have the opportunity well, to really, like, you know, it's not like, you know, like, like, like Atlanta has, like, suburbs. I, so I actually don't think, well, what, I think what's maybe not obvious is... The city city part of Miami is pretty small and most of Miami is actually suburb. So there actually is a lot of opportunity to live like within a 30 minute range of like the coastal, like the city that's directly on the coast like the downtown area. Um, and there's like a huge range of like options there, like in terms of like price. But it's only north or uh, south for the most part. No, I think it, so there's about like if you drive from the coast, if you look like, so you say if you drive west, uh, there's about an hour of driving before you hit the end of the development really? where like the swamp starts. And they've been actually like building into that. So Liz's parents live they like moved to the edge at the time, which was like ten or fifteen years ago. And that was like them like cutting down the swamp and like building houses there. And they're continuing to go and now the edges is so shift, it's like shift Kendall, a little bit further. So. This is like an hour. Uh, let me see. I think Kendall's further south, right? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Sweetwater. Yeah. So she's from. Uh, yeah, Kendall. Exactly. That's like forty-five minutes to an hour from the really? coast. Uh, yeah. So she's more from Miami Lakes, just a little bit further north. It's just because I mean, it could. Yeah, forty-five minutes. I think is is fair. We live on the coast, a little bit further south in in Coconut Grove. Uh, and that's like south of Coral Gables, which for some reason everyone knows about Coral Gables. I saw you like referencing it the other day. I don't know, like everyone. Well, I'm like, I'm like, oh, Coral it's Gables gonna like is, is fucking <laughs> move. It's like a joke to them. I'm like, I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I'd love to live in Miami. And they're like, oh, you end up in the Van Gables. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> is that like, is that like where New Jersey people go? <laughs> okay, that's not actually the joke. The joke is that if you live there it's fucking nice oh. like it is like the you get these beautiful super well maintained like classic spanish mansions there so it's like my um, kind of like suburbia some of the best yeah you you'd love it you fucking love it yeah I it's a little pricey at the moment yeah. though, to be honest with you yeah but I, that's like the highest end i was unless you're like i think if you're a normal person that's like the top Obviously, you can go like absurd, way cr like Jeff Bezos yeah. though here. But if you're like a normal person, Carl Gables is like the top. Um, but yeah, Sh somehow everyone it's like a, a good joke. Everyone knows about it, dude. I'd love it. We'd, we'd be like ten minutes away from each other, and I'll just stop by your house randomly, and you're like, "Fuck, I regret everything." Move in I next said. door. <laughs> <laughs> Not every day. Fucking Give me some guy time really to work. Got me into but, alcohol and shit. And... <laughs> <laughs> I smell like a jujitsu gi. <laughs> Adam, do you wash your gi every day? Every day? Every time? Every okay, every good. time. Yeah. I got a bunch okay. of these. Just making sure. I, I take a different one every time. That's like that's yeah, like yeah, a big no, thing. I, I wash my belt. I There's do the guys whole thing. who like yeah. not wash not the gi. Messing around with ringworm and yeah. That's Have gross. you gotten a, a skin infection yet? You will. No. Yeah. Is that a thing? You will. I will. 
You I've will. I've heard. That sucks. Right. Just from like other f- people's sweat. High school football. I got staff. No, football. you get like like a. It's kind of like weird shit, like a little rot going on. That sounds yeah. disgusting. Are you are you on like Advil and Tiger Bomb yet? <laughs> like sorry, Advil what? and Tiger Bomb. Like do your joints hurt. Uh, my joints definitely hurt. But what's Tiger Bomb? Oh, it's like that shit like you put on your muscles and after after shit and it like stings. It's like sort Bengay. Of, yeah. Huh. No, I, I do. I take a not Advil, but I take like turmeric supplements. Yeah, turmeric. Yeah, uh, I bet you do. I don't know how to turmeric. say that. <laughs> <I bet. laughs> turmeric. <laughs> it helps. It's like I'd be perfect. Take this holistic but it's Advil, just, and then it just less of. I fucking <laughs> empty out a few frozen vegetables on top of a pizza and <laughs> fucking jerk off a coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that picture that adam posts uh, anytime adam posts a picture of what he's eating it just looks disgusting there was a couple so there was good, a couple yeah. times I where you do it on purpose <laughs> and i was like i'd eat that i'm telling you i've never loved like we, there were some, we, there were some pizza you posted once and i was like what the pizza? hell is this you posted something like pizza so wait, are you vegan this wasn't pizza vegetarian? in my opinion yeah we've been vegan for like 11 years okay so February. you don't cheese no cheese, yeah. No so dairy. Vegetarian, I could maybe do, maybe. Um, just cheese exists. Yeah. Cheese exists. We use milk. And There's a lot of vegan too. cheeses. They're probably really. Yeah, crazy. they're all gnarly as fuck. Processed dude. and stuff. We used to. Um, yeah. I used to be by this. Uh, it was, you know, there's, we used to go there for lunch sometimes, right? When I, I used to work in this like little New Jersey city, right? And they'd have like, you know, a couple places like that, like vegan spots. Right and like, yeah. there was like a pizza that was like cold and it was like crushed up nuts as cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you know, it's fine for what it is, but it's it's not fucking pizza. Yeah, <laughs> it's a different thing. <laughs> I do feel like vegan technology has gotten better. I feel like some oh, there, of the there, there's a lot the of newer animation. restaurants that are vegan are actually pretty good. There, there's one in my neighborhood that. I keep saying this. I'm not going to because I'm not going to go to a vegan spot on my own. But if Adam is here, I'll go with him. Everyone says it's amazing. They have, um, oh. what is it? They, they make everything with it. Temp- tempe? Oh, tempe. yeah. Tempe. Yeah. 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 So, like, there, there's a place by us where they have, like, vegan barbecue ribs and vegan chicken sandwiches and shit like that. Mm, and yeah it, it it actually tastes like that food but i can't imagine that's good for you the way that they they synthesize no it that. never is when they try to make it they should just make good food on its own whenever they try to make it like other food it's always like yeah. a bunch of bullshit like the yeah. fake burgers and stuff like uh, oh the fake to meat, me like yeah, that's it looks when they make so... really realistic fake meat it's like i don't know what their market is because i i'm not trying to like replace meat in my life i'm not missing you don't miss hamburgers meat. so that's not to me uh, we eat burgers like we eat plant based burgers. No, not I'm like saying is you don't miss actual so much. burgers. Not at all. <laughs> no, I don't miss like really anything we used to eat. Uh, there's something like a year in where I, you just kind of like adapt and it's just a very different. Like now, the idea of dairy just kind of makes me sick. Like the idea of it in my body. Uh, so it's not like a like a willpower thing where it's like, man, what I'd do for a steak. You just is that kinda, true like, for everyone that's vegan? It. Or do you think that's I think if you are you? for a while, mm-hmm. I think it'd be hard to still <clears throat> want I those foods. I can't fathom, like, at some point looking at a picture of a steak and not feeling anything. Do you know what my favorite thing not to do in the anything? entire world is? Get my vegan really pastel fucked guesses, up and but... get him to eat me. <laughs> 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 I swear to God. Yeah, I've done it. Oh, my word. I've done it. I've done it. It's the fucking thing in the entire world. Oh, and then they're like, they're oh like, oh they're they like they're so good. <laughs> like, see, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, man. Now I'm going to be very mm-hmm. careful in Miami. Uh, in do a you ever accidentally mo- eat meat? <laughs> no. I think we've accidentally eaten uh, some dairy in our 11 years, but just a couple times. And it was like people who didn't understand what vegan was. In the Ozarks, it's like, oh, you're vegan? Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just don't eat meat, but it's like actually I'm more bougie than that. I'm more, I'm more extra. Yeah, more annoying than that. Dairy. Yeah, more annoying. <laughs> you can't use eighty percent of the ingredients in your kitchen. Make me food. 
Yeah, no, it's impossible. We that's the thing. When we went plant based, we basically don't eat with people, and that kind of sucks. That's a big part of social life, I guess. Like when people get together, they just eat, and there's not like places we go out here to eat. It's just kind of like it's, it's tough a thing. That vegan people don't want to bring it up. Like, oh, let's go out and fucking have this delicious food, <laughs> right? And they're like, yeah. they're like, oh, well, I'm vegan. And I'm like, well, then you know. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, might have something for you. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to carry around tactical pouches of fucking Brussels sprouts? We we travel with food Brussels sprouts. We travel anytime we go anywhere. Like we even just going to my parents' house. We How take often do you food eat Brussels sprouts? Just, we're used to. Uh, pretty okay. often. Yeah, you laugh at it. Like it's not a thing we that you eat. Stuff like, with them. You can eat like twelve oh, no, fucking things. Oh no, it's just Brussels like sprouts not included. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing i i eat so much more variety than i did before we were plant. i was super picky as a omnivore and once we went plant-based for some reason i don't know we had to explore all these new foods it just expanded a lot of i bet you I like eat. radishes so I right like now, don't way you? more dude They're radishes okay. are amazing I, oh you don't like I don't know. them i'm not super into radishes i love beets beets are really good uh, <laughs> beets beets are good i, too. I love beets like pickled beets in, mm. i forget that i ate beets and then it's like yeah and you take a shit Oh my god, oh god. <laughs> Even just the inside of your mouth. Time yeah, finally came. It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, I have beats in my bag. <laughs> beats are fucking good. My wife makes a salad. Oh yeah. yeah. Beats are and good. it's like um mm -hmm. what is it? Uh like like salad and then like uh mandarin oranges, goat cheese, Ooh. beets, and French dressing. And somehow yeah. this combination comes together to be a very, very rad. I think there might be like fucking candied walnuts in there too. I'm not sure, but anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds right. I think I have this type oh, of salad it's before. Good. It's good. It is good. It is good. I think we've been on here long enough that I need yeah, to go. Yeah, I to go too. I'm feeling <laughs> guilty for all that. <laughs> I've been like half here and half working too, and yeah. I feel bad. Well, fellas, it was yeah, really got nice a, to hang got out. A meeting, but. It was yeah. really nice to have you. Let's on do camp. this like once a month or something. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I'm absolutely into that. <laughs> I'm gonna go make a, a beautiful yeah. stir fry for lunch. You enjoy your uh, oh, mushrooms, Brussels sprouts and beets. Mushrooms. <laughs> 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 He's like, yeah, I think a lion's mane mushroom and <laughs> for real. Uh, I don't think a day goes by that I don't consume some lion's really? mushroom. But anyway, how do you have access yeah. to it? We eat a lot of mushrooms. How do you have access What's to that? it? What's that? They, have them really? the they don't store. have them at our grocery store. We I also do, them. like... Mm -hmm. Really? They don't have lion's mane no. mushrooms in mm -mm. New Jersey? Mushrooms huh. are easy to grow, right? Yeah. You just spray some shit on the dust, and it just fucking grows. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. amazing. All right, gang. All right, All right on that cool. note. Later, Kate. See you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Stay <laughs> everyone. Bye.